monopolistic competition is a market structure with many independent firms operating in a competitive market, where each firm sells a slightly different good or service. Monopolistic competition was first identified and discussed by American economist Edward Chamberlain and British economist Joan Robinson in the 1930s. Most high streets are populated with firms operating under monopolistic competition. The key characteristics of this market form are Differentiated products Low barriers to entry and exit a large number of independent firms. Firms can exploit their differences and make super normal profits in the short run. Only normal profits are available in the long run as new firms enter. The market is very dynamic. Differentiation can be through design, color, distribution, Quality Customer service And staff skills and training Firms operating under monopolistic competition dominate the high street, with common examples including restaurants, hairdressers, estate agents, and independent stores. Here we see that super normal profits are available in the short run. In the long run, new firms enter the market, selling cheaper, better or newer products. Or they offer some other distinguishing feature. This pushes down the firm's average revenue curve and makes the curve more elastic as there are now more choices for the consumer. This provides the incentive for the firm to innovate, to keep ahead of rivals and make super normal profits. Despite increased choice and innovation, firms operating under conditions of monopolistic competition experience allocative inefficiency with price being greater than marginal cost and productive inefficiency, with average cost being above its lowest possible point. This is true in both the short and long run. To see more videos, go to www.economicsonline.co.uk